One of the most frustrating things for any music producer is learning a new DAW from scratch. In this video, I'm going to help you get a handle on the nuts and bolts of Beatmaker 3 so that you can get started making music right away. Welcome back creatives. I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. I make tip and tutorial videos as well as product reviews on all things music production. If you enjoy that kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you'll be the first to catch the next one. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty quick and basic tutorial of the basics of Beatmaker 3. Kind of how to get started um, knowing where everything's at and actually we're gonna get started making a really easy beat in Beatmaker 3. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Beatmaker 3. All right, so as soon as you open Beatmaker 3, the first thing you're gonna see is this page. Um, on your right side, you've got any recent sessions that you've done. Um, and then on the left side, you've got new session, open session, and a quick start guide if you want to dig in there for some more info. We're going to start a new session today. And this is the first thing you're going to see once you've started your session. So this is uh, an empty sample bank. Um, there's nothing in it, so we can't quite play it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and exit out here and we'll talk about our navigation tab. So right now, we are in the banks tab. This is where we will go to play things in. Next is the sample tab, which is where you can go to edit your samples. There's a lot of powerful tools in here for sample editing. Um, the next tab, which is probably the one you'll spend the most time in, is your playlist tab. And the playlist tab is where you'll sequence out your beat, um, as well as adding different kinds of tracks. The next one is the mixer tab. And in the mixer tab, you'll, you have your faders for adjusting your volumes and a lot of other controls, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, down here on the bottom, you have your keyboard. If you have a bank selected, this keyboard button will enable a software keyboard on your screen. Um, this is the MIDI effects tab, the audio effects tab, and your macros. And if we look up here in the top hamburger menu, we've got our sessions, these are the sessions that I've done. Um, these are our banks, so any instrument that's built into Beatmaker 3, along with any packs that you've made for yourself. If you've assembled some sample kits and you've saved them, um, this is where they'll show up. Here's the samples tab, so this is anything you've imported, any of your samples, as well as samples that have come from Beatmaker 3. Um, and I have a lot of them. <laughs> And then the plugins tab, which has our plug or different kinds of plugins. So I highly recommend if you're going to get into plugins, use audio units. We'll do a video going more in depth on that. But these are the three that I use right now as I build my library. Um, and then inner app audio. Um, these are, are good as well, but they uh, you can't run as many instances as you want to. So I like to use module by Korg. Solid, solid set of sounds. Also in the top here, you have access to all of your files within Beatmaker 3. So if I exported things as my exports folder, my imports folder, bank presets, there's just everything that has to do with files in Beatmaker 3, it's all right here. Also, I highly recommend checking out the Beatmaker 3 sound store. It's up here in the top corner. Top right corner, you select the little shopping cart. There are free samples in here free sample packs. I have three of them. Um, two of them are the starter kits, and then there's also one called Thud Rumble that I have. And there's a lot of kits for pretty cheap, so $3.99, $4.99, $5.99, $6.99. They're not expensive. A lot of these are either collections of drum kits or they are instruments that you can use. We'll go ahead and exit out of that, and we're going to go ahead and get our first beat started. So we'll go back to the Banks tab because we want to get our sounds going. Um, first, we need to select a tempo, so I think I have an idea of about how fast I want it to go. See if we can tap that in. Put 
probably about 143. I like 142 better. We'll go with that. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. Let's load up a kit. I like to start with drums whenever I make a beat, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll go up here into the hamburger menu. I'll collect, I'll go back to the search tab, go to banks, and I like the ashes kit. Let's use that one. All right, let's see what we got. I like that. Let's play in some drums. All right, let's see what that sounds like. Pretty basic. So now what I wanna do is loop that. There's a loop button, I'm gonna select it right here and then drag out my loop. There we go. Next, we need to add some sort of instrument. I'm thinking some sort of keys. I always highly recommend the CME X key Air. This thing is my go-to MIDI controller. Review coming soon. So I'm gonna turn it on. We'll get it hooked up. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and add a new bank. I'll click track, create new bank. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just add sounds that are already in Beatmaker 3 as opposed to using plugins, um, just to keep it basic and simple. All right, so I'm always feeling a good piano. Um, I do like this one, so we'll select this one, TPKZA Piano, and I have my B1 bank selected. That's the new bank that I added, and I'm gonna go ahead and load that bank. So now if I exit out here, that instrument is now in bank one or sorry b1 bank i'll select my banks tab and there we go i can also play it on my midi controller so here we go all right let's try this Let's give that a go. All right, I like it. Let's go ahead and add in some hi hats. All right, real quick, there's several ways to play in hi-hats. I love this about Beatmaker 3. So I've got a hi-hat that I like right here. I'm gonna go into the roll tab, and each one of these lanes right here represents a way, uh, a certain timing for your notes. So for example, I've got quarter notes, and if I drag down, that decreases velocity. That turns it down. So I think I like eighth notes to start. We'll add some more, some other things in as we go. Here we go. Okay. I like that. All right, next I'm just gonna add in a bass. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another bank tab in, and here's another way you can do it, is just press this plus button right here. Boom, you got another bank. Um, go back, we'll find some sort of bass uh, summer sub. Let's give that a go. Ooh, okay.
All right, I think I got something I like so far. Really quick, I just noticed that I don't, you know, my, my hi-hat's a little bit loud, so I'll go into my mixer tab and we'll take a look at it. We got it playing. I can double tap, I can double tap each one of these to affect the individual sounds. So here's my ashes kit with my hi-hat in it. I double click that, I click my hat, drag down my volume a little bit, it's a little louder for my taste. Let's see what it sounds like now. Yeah. Yeah, and the next step would be to sequence this out. I could go into my playlist tab and I can just start moving things around. So I wanna say I wanna repeat my piano that I originally, or my drums that I originally played in. I'll just click on this sample, click repeat. Boom, there it is again. Now I don't recommend duplicate because what that does is it creates another pattern in your patterns tab. Um, so uh, we'll just click repeat for patterns that we wanna repeat. Um, say I wanted the drums to drop out. So I'll delete this. I'm gonna make my loop a little bit longer, double it up. So I'm gonna repeat my piano, I'll click repeat, and then I'm gonna repeat my sub. And I just wanna have a section where the drums drop out. Here's what I got. There it is, you guys. I mean, I know this was a really basic tutorial, but it's just to get you guys going. If you're looking for some more in-depth things, check out my next video that's coming out. It's gonna give you guys some good pointers, but you're, as always, you're gonna keep getting more BeeMaker 3 stuff, you guys know. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will definitely respond. If you have any suggestions for topics you guys would like to see, or any other things you'd like to see me go more in depth on in BeatMaker 3, or just music production on the iPad or about gear, or anything, drop it in the comment section and I'll, I'll, I'll definitely take a look at that. Uh, and I wanna get you guys the content you wanna see. So, as always, to my creatives, go out there and make something dope and I'll see you in the next video.